Yo, 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 everybody! Generic B here, and I am on the Minecraft Feed the Beast server. And let me tell you, life is good. Life is good. We have got some bees a cooking. Let me show you. You know what that is? You know what that is? Emerald. Emerald Queen. Now we're sharing the same honeycomb. <laughs> uh, and, oh, and I got that trying to make some bauxite bees. Yeah, man, I got stuff mutating. I got all these machines that are going and I really want to show you, but I have some other ideas to show you today that I really want. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I just, today is bees. Bees, baby. I'm going to show you everything I know, everything I've learned, uh, so, and kind of step by step, so that way you guys can, uh, you know, if you guys are working on bees and you want to up your bee game a little bit, um, you can do what I've been doing. So, let me set up, where do I want to go first? Mm, I think the very first thing I want to show you is maybe my advanced machines and I'll show you what works good and what really stinks. Um, now, all of this I will say with a little bit of a caveat that apparently uh, Benny, who does the Extra Bees mod, is um, is working on a new version and there's going to be some, some improvements to the mod. So a lot of what I'm about to show you that I don't like is actually getting fixed. Uh, but this is where we are right now. Uh, we've got the first thing I want to tell you about is this thing called the gene pool. Now I've messed with this before, but you know I'm gonna go over it soup to nuts. These are a bunch of uh, bees that I don't need, and you would sit there and go, "You don't need imperial drones?" Yeah, that's right. Money all day. I just throw it away. Now you'll notice that it looked like it should have. Uh, it should be automatically doing this, but watch what happens and nothing. You actually have to kind of click on that bee or another bee has to come in uh, in order for it to work. Uh, yo, buddy. Um, so yeah, that's getting fixed in the beta, but basically this turns bees that you don't want into B and A. Uh, and I think Bees that have been analyzed give you more DNA than, uh, you know, B DNA, <laughs> uh, more DNA than uh, ones that haven't been. So when keep in mind, this is all just temporary. This is just so I get the hang of things and I kind of do some mutations. It works great, but when I get my real system in place, there's there's going to be a system that automatically grabs. Uh, bees for melting, it'll send them through one of these bee analyzers, which then will uh, make it go through and all that stuff, right? So that breaks it down into this bee DNA. We've got three machines that use bee DNA, BNA, right, uh, so far. Uh, I'm going to tell you about the crappy ones first. And the crappy one is this guy right here, the splicer. Now what a splicer does is you can take a bee, like let's say I've got, let's say I don't need this emerald drone. I can throw this in there and throw in a template, right? Let's see it says corrupt template, good quality. Um, it'll sit there and it will uh, use B and A and whatever the bee and this template and turn this into another bee, right? And these templates are made over here in the sequencer. You put a blank template down here in the bottom and you have to fill it with a lot of bees. Um, a lot of these common, it, and it can only be hive bees or common. And what I mean by hive bees are bees that you get out of a hive in nature. So the meadows, the forest, uh, modest, for the desert, um, you know, tropical in the jungle, stuff like that, and common. And that's it. 
And so this is basically you sacrifice a bunch of these bees in order to get something that gives you a, a copy of that bee. It's dumb. And this is going to get either tweaked or removed or re repurposed somehow in the next version. Um, so those are the crappy ones. And I tell you what, they're so crappy that I'm actually going to remove them from my system. That's how much I don't like them. And the, and the reason for that is I want to get rid of this. I want I don't want it to receive any more BNA. I want it to like only go to here. So if you can't use the template system, what is there? Well, there's this really sweet one called the isolator. This thing is dope. And all it does is you take a bee. Uh, let's see, is there a bee that I am curious about? I think I've done corroded. Oh, so soda light. Even though I'm not too interested, let's go. Let's go over here. Hmm. You know, I wanted one. That. What did I get already? Hold on. Let me do, do a double check. Uh, low fertility, slowest. Fast product. Productivity. Oh, I know what I want to do. I want to do. Um, there's one. Here we go. Ancient princess, right? Now, the ancient princess has an elongated life, which is, as far as I can tell, the, you see how all these say shorter life? Uh, some say, like, shortest life. Some will say long life. I'm looking for one that says, there we go, valiance or long life. This elongated life, I think, is, like, really long. So... If I want that characteristic and put it into another bee, all I got to do is put that there. And I need to put a vial. Now, a vial is used or is made with royal jelly, which I've got. Oh. Oh, ball, baller. Look at him! Kablam! Kablam! <laughs> That's awesome, dude. Oh, man. See, this is why it's such a good... Oh, slight difference. See it? Yes, very... S slight. A very slut. <laughs> This is Oh that's iron. Oh, I was wrong. Bonk. And oh no, is that right? Control Q. Ha ha. Oh whoop, crap. <laughs> yeah we do. Yeah, bum. Okay, so Good old, see, this is why I love him, man. Like, I'm here working on bees and getting power going. He is giving us resources for days so we could, like, make other stuff. So, all right, so bees, 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 bees. Um, now I gotta make vials. Vials you make, let's look it up. Serum. Empty serum vial. It's made with royal jelly two gold ingots, and some glass panes. You can see it makes it right there. Royal jelly comes from imperial bees, which I've changed. Let's actually, let's go fly up. Oh, I need my jetpack on. So this setup I think I've shown before. Uh, it's just these little diamond, or I'm sorry, uh, apiaris pipes that any bees will go down, but if there's no bees needed, then anything will go to the right, and they're each set up that way. So basically what will happen is, once this finishes breeding, a princess and some drones will come out. Um, they'll get sucked outside this wood pipe. One drone will come in. Oh, see, it's going to do it right there. So, bloop, right? There comes some more drones. Shoink. 
And then finally, there's a drone. Yeah, a lot of drones coming out. That's because there's already a drone in there. And then finally the queen goes, shook. And, yep, and there it goes. And the whole process happens. Now, these, these suckers right here are almost super bees. Almost. I've made it. I've given them the, oh yeah, there's some royal jelly. I've given them the um, the ability to work day and night, underground or overground, uh, through the rain and everything. The only thing that's missing is I need to give them shortest life, like, oh wait, clicking on that. Uh, there we go. I need to give them like the, where is it? I have a short, short life somewhere. This is going to be fast productivity. There's one somewhere. Oh, that wait. Eh, I'll find it. Anyway, I got to jam them with some short life and fast working. So they'll make bees and just go. Because that's what's feeding this uh, chest that melts them down for BNA. The more bees I get, the more BNA the more fancy stuff I can do. So that's that. Um, but let's see, so let's grab, I've already got some of these empty serum vials going. I'm gonna put a couple in here. Doop, doop, doop. And you can put up to nine and it'll go through, but I usually put like three because you will get, um, you will get some repeats off of this. So we're gonna watch this go. Watch her go. And wait for it. Effect cancellation. So that's if there's any goofy effect. Like, oh, I don't know. Dying <laughs> from an ender bee. Uh, you can use that on it and it gets rid of it. You know, while we're waiting for these two, um, real quick, I want to say I get a lot of requests asking what the songs are in the beginning uh, intros of my videos. Um, I feel really bad. Uh, I had it on there at one point, and then I usually just copy and paste my description, and somehow I got lost along the way. Um, I usually use two two different bands. Uh, one, the one that you hear on Feed the Beast, and uh, and you know B Team Adventures and stuff like that, is um, anything that sounds kind of like chip tune music is a uh, eight bit weapon. And I've got slowest productivity. Nope. Um, I've got, uh, the link down below now, but it's 8bitweapon.bandcamp.com. If you like chiptune music, those guys are awesome. You should go check them out. And, uh, and then of course my buddy Bob Log the third, um, I do a lot of time lapse with him. He's got a bunch of stuff on, on Bandcamp as well. Um, and you can also get all his albums on iTunes. Uh, you can go for Bob Log the Third, uh, or Do Rag, he's which is his old band. If you guys like my time lapse music, please go check him out. Go buy some of his stuff. He's awesome. So that being said, okay, default. All right. So while while this guy's going, we'll let him run a little bit more. Let's say you get one of these empty vials, right? Well, now you got to do something with it, and that's where you put it over here in the synthesizer, right? And we'll grab ourselves one that I'm interested in. Slow flowering, high fertility, fast productivity. Yes, that's the one I think I want. And you stick it in there and boom. Now right now there's no liquid DNA, BNA. Um, I've got this set up in such a way, it's a little ghetto, um, but I wanted kind of like a manual, uh, a manual way of getting DNA to this thing, so I just do it like that. So if I don't need it in here right away, um, I'll flip it to where it doesn't come from the uh, this tank right here. And as you can see, yeah, now it's going, and this little magic little wigglin's going up. Blah, 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 blah. Great, very cool, and that will hold up to 16 charges. And see how it says average quality? So you'll get 16 charges of average quality. And then what happens 
is you can run it through, uh, oh, I think I've already got one in here. Yeah. You can run it through, oh, wait, shortest life. Oh, fat, yeah, yeah, oh, perfect. Um, you can run this through the purifier, and this takes a hell of a lot of uh, DNA. Um, but once it does, you can go from awful, poor, average, good, excellent, I think is the, the thing. So you can see some of these over here. Or, yeah, excellent. Uh, so high fertility, I've got excellent corroded species. So that's an actual species. I can turn any bee into a copper bee, a corroded bee. And I've got some other ones like that with my emeralds. And there's the cave dwelling that I used, right? So we will sit there and go, all right, let's say which one's the one low fertility, high fertility. We've already done on those guys. I'm looking for a short lifespan. That may be the one that I'm working on right there. Shortest lifespan. Yep. Um, so it's average quality. I tell you what, I'm going to let this run a little bit. Oh, let's see what we got. Default, slowest. Not yet. All right, give it three more. Um, we're going to feed a little more bees and such and such and uh, talk about it more after a quick commercial. Sure break buddy brother boy is there a steampunk accent oh uh it's probably like hip eat some meat eat some meat i'm eating some meat you've got a wrench tea and crumpets this isn't just a wrench my friend it's a crescent hammer a crescent hammer it's not to be confused with a croissant hammer. You ah, break uh -huh. your teeth on this. Ah, very wise. I'm turning a little Chinese. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> so wise. <laughs> very wise man. I crave my own food when I drink. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Brother, yeah. uh, I was explaining to the folks all, you know, what each of these bee machines do. Talk to me. And it, it causes my cat to meow, by the way. Meow. <laughs> Oof. Very happy. Um, but for you and me, the most important thing. Make it make it an emerald. Making that emerald, baby. That's what we do. Look at this. Do you see this this stuff right here? Let me throw you one of them. Boom. Emerald comb. Emerald comb. Jeez, man. It's been a long road. Oh, this cat. Oh, she fine. He fine. Do you hear it? Yeah, he fine. <laughs> oh. I like him. He's excited about Emerald, too. Shut your damn furry hole. <laughs> Fur hole. Fur hole. Wow. So I put him in this little thing. Here's how this works, man. In Got the squeeze. In the, in the, over here, in the centrifuge. Mm hmm So it's going to make, you see that tiny pile of A little bit of tiny pile. A little bit tiny pile. Mm-hmm. Which is good. Does that not stack? Why is that not stacking? Stack, you damn fools. Let me check. Tiny pile. Boy, it better. Oh, yeah, okay. It's stacking it's over stack. here. Okay, good. So f I think we need... Man, let's look up this recipe again. Emerald... Emerald dust. Uh, emerald dust is made out of tiny pile. Mm-hmm. Four tiny makes one emerald dust. Mm-hmm. And then... We need four of those emerald dust in the in the implosion compressor. Yeah. Do you have any more of that industrial TNT? Just sixteen down there oh, right now. Oh, baller! Perfect enough. I I think so. Now the question is, hopefully, here, I'm grabbing this because it's too slow to squeeze. Just just centrifuge, dang it. Mm. Oh, yeah, I think we... How many did I say we need? Three. We need... No, we need four. Four. Okay, let's see. Let's see if this will be enough. So that means we need 16. I think. Oh, yeah, we need four... Four, four littles to make a big. Mm -hmm. And four bigs to make three... To make us small. To make us small. Mm -hmm. Drink me. <laughs> oh, Drink me. Am I one shy... You one comb shy. 
Oh, man, my mom always said I'm one comb shy. You're one comb shy of a honeybee. Honey. You <laughs> Wait. Oh, damn. No, no, it's oh, good. I got regeneration. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, this is a good Punch one. me. Oh. oh. <laughs> yeah, you <boom>. feel good. <laughs> Nothing like waking up in the morning and getting punched in the face. <laughs> <laughs> hey, how come your diamond chest did pop off when you hit me? Or when I hit you? Oh, yes. Hilarious. Huh. <laughs> uh, okay, so we may need... I miscounted. We may need to take a quick, a small break. A small break. Well, you see this one that's right here? Mm-hmm. That's my baby. That's your baby. The green yeah. buzz is coming out of it. Yeah, green bugs coming out of it. So we need one more comb, and then I guess we'll meet people over at the Complosion director. That sounds great. Okay. Uh, how long does it take for comb? To oh, like, oh, just like four hours. Okay, so that's plenty of time. We could sit here and wait. Yeah. <laughs> I'm actually going to go do a little something with a recycler real quick. Maybe. Oh, ooh, that sounds good. Yeah. Okay, you recycle. I'll just watch this be. Yeah, you watch that, and I'll I'll be back with you after I do something cheaty. Okay. We'll. Oh. oh okay. We'll reconvene. Hmm. <laughs> okay. So while we wait on that, <laughs> B Dubs is working on his thing. He you, go check him out. He's got some some stuff. Some stuff happening. What the haps on the craps? Um. So. Oh yeah yeah. Over here, we had the ancient princess. Uh, so now we have elongated, which is what we want. All this other stuff. Oh, the cat. Oh, the cat. Um, we are low on the B DNA, baby. How's this average? Okay. Well, I'll show you. I'll show you how it works with the average. This will work. What I want to do is I want to grab. Whoop. Let's grab ourselves. Oh, she's about to. This is perfect timing. She's about to, to do her thing. And I'm gonna quickly, when it does it, I'm gonna grab. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. Wait, wait for it. Oh. Oh, that cat. Wait for it. Although I wonder what would happen if I made the change while it was a queen. I don't know if that's possible to do. Very curious. That one, that one, okay. This one for sure, come on baby. Come on baby, get it. 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 <laughs> Wait for it. Where is it gonna be? This is like whack-a-mole. I'm playing a game whack-a-mole. Whack-a-mole, whack-a-mole. Oh, I think it's going to be in that one right there. Oh, here it is. I got it. I got it. Hey. Awesome. Okay, so what I can do is put the queen in there, and I'm going to put one drone, and then I'm going to put... Oh, because actually right now, let's, let's run both of these through the honey machine. Get it all analyzed up so we can see what we're working with. And while that's doing that. Mm-hmm. Mm, the royal jelly. How are we doing on that? Oh man, we got so much of this stuff. This royal jelly is also used for these things called uh well, it's used for ambrosia, which is a really good type of food. And it's also used in something called um alvearies, which are like really big um apiaries. And you can do some really cool stuff with them to where you don't need these frames. You can just uh, stick a bee in and and let it do its thing. And you can tell it all sorts of stuff. You can actually make princesses out of it with a swarmer and all sorts of funky stuff. I've not messed with it, but I know it takes royal jelly to make the, the scented planks in order to do it. So, all right, I'm grabbing this last one here. Come on, baby. Make it happen. Make it happen. Wait for it. Wait for it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, baby, come on. The waiting game. You guys didn't know you'd be just sitting there. This is welcome to my life. This is what I've been doing for days. If I'm not staring at 
levels of fuel, I'm doing this for days. <laughs> and I think he's going to show up right there. Hit it, hit it. Rain or shine all the time. We're the lucky dreamers that never stop dreaming. Okay, so then we're going to put... I just want to put one princess in there. Okay, so now we've got those two, right? Now, let's grab our Bealizer. And you can see... So this has got... Nocturnal, Flyer Cave, all that good stuff. But the lifespan is normal and the speed is slower, which neither one of those are ideal for what I want to do. Um, and then these guys are also slower, normal, and this one's we haven't messed with yet. So what I want to do is I want to take this inoculator, right? Let's get this guy out of here. And I want to put... Is this the princess I know? Yep. I want to put the princess in there, and I want to put one drone, because I don't want to waste my stuff, and then I'm going to shortest, yeah, shortest lifespan. I'm going to stick there, even though it's average. Talking with Floristar, it doesn't seem like there's a difference in the version I'm running. It doesn't seem like there's much of a difference in the quality of the serum. One thing I've kind of noticed, like if I have... If this bee has two different traits, um, it will uh, it will only or like if it's a hybrid, you know, or it has active and passive. When it goes through, it'll only hit like the passive first or something like that. Um, but these will go. It won't necessarily hit it in the first syringe. It may take a couple. And while I'm at it, I'm gonna do. I'm going to go ahead and grab this guy. Hello. And I'm going to throw him in there as well. And so then these dudes, because I have that, I only am going to inoculate one drone because then I can have this princess mate with that one. The remaining drones will then go over to the next princess. So it just saves me a little bit on some on some time. Um, so that means over here, I can melt these drones down. And it's going to go... It's waiting game. All this is is waiting game, but it sure is a heck of a lot better. I think Etho has been getting, uh, you know, the characteristics that he's like through lots and lots of crossbreeding. And that's possible you could totally do that um this just seems to be a more precise way and you don't he's also accidentally lost some of his some of his princesses and stuff um through you know through breeding he'll lose a lose a uh, like a rocky princess through breeding and that's why i've always made sure that i keep a keep a stash see yeah okay so i tell you what i think that is all we got right now, let me go double check here. Have you made us any babies? Yes, we get. We've got. Grabbing it. I am going to throw this sucker in the centrifuge. And we should have. Boom, tiny pile. Now we also have this tiny pile of. Where'd it go? This tiny pile of olivine dust, olivine dust, this one, I'm not so sure about. It turns into, you can use it for magnesium, which I'm not sure. Or you can make these olivines, but those don't seem to do anything. If you guys know what those are for, let me know. Um, because it doesn't seem to make a whole lick of sense to me. Uh, but this, if we look at the emerald again, tiny pile, makes a pile. I wanted to see what else this 
we can use emeralds for. Aluminum beryllium is used for a tank cart. Thick neutron deflector. Oh, beryllium. Oh, and a fusion reactor. Oh, so this is, uh, this is some craziness. Ah, uh, yeah, never mind about that. That's, that's some crazy nutty stuff. We don't need, we don't need to worry about that. <laughs> uh, and then, let's see really quick. I want to see what, okay, that's what we're going to do. I want to see what this data storage cell is used for in data control circuits and data orbs. Data control circuits, data orb, quantum chest, Greg Tech computer cubes, UUM assemblers. That seems like something we want. A UUM assembler. This seems like some hardcore stuff. Greg Tech. Damn you, Greg, and your tech. <laughs> okay, but we've got everything we need. I think I've explained pretty much everything. The only one I didn't really get into uh, was this replicator. Oh my god, you cat. I will kill him after these messages. <laughs> um, you put in a, a serum and you can put in an empty vial and it if you have charges and stuff like that, it won't uh, it, it won't carry the charges over. You can't cheat it that way. But if you've got one elongated lifespan serum or whatever type you want to make copies of, it'll just go through. All it takes is some some uh, Michael Jacksons, and it'll go through, and blunk, and then you got another one. So that's just a good way to, in case you find one that you really like, you don't have to keep you know abusing your poor little bees. Poor little bees, they don't even what they do to you. <laughs> okay. Um, gonna go see what the old B-dubs is doing, and we'll be right back. Oh, yeah, I can count to 16 now. Oh, really? Yep. Oh, yeah. I do so. A fab fabulous estimation this time. <laughs> I say, sir B-dubs. Yes. Our, our calculations were correct. Ah, Blast! Furthermore, hints. We press forward on and <laughs> mm. two twit and maybe three twits. Two twit and hive. How many quid? As you can see by my brilliant deductions. They sure are tiny. They they when they weren't kidding when they said tiny pile, didn't they? Uh uh. That's okay. A tiny pile. Mm. Okay, so, oh man, I'm going to use this workbench and this beautiful shelving system. Yeah. It's not functional. Oh, but the, yep, yep, the workbench is, yep. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. okay, so now I got four emerald dust. Gorgeous. I think we just stick it. Oh, you know what, though? Mm. I forgot. You want to show me what you just did? Oh, I already showed you. Oh, you already showed me. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, if your people want to know, it just... Uh, yeah, maybe your people can tell you, too. Um, so to make scrap, mm -hmm. uh, I'm taking a poll to see what people think. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a, a cobblestone generator down there. Okay, I'm going. Yeah. I'm just checking it real quick. Mm -hmm. Your cobble's going the wrong way. It will. It will. It, it, it Once it's full up up here, it just sends it all back down, and it vanishes. Oh, and it, it, it stops. Stops the pumping. Oh, yeah, because... Was that a block breaker? Yep. Yeah, because these... Uh, red power pipes, whatever they're called. Panatic. New <laughs> p p panatic. Panatics is, is, I think, the new name. <laughs> but is that like when you get sick, you get p pneumonia? Yeah, yeah, penismonia. Penismonia. Whoop. 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 All right, let's start this again here. Yeah. Oh, let's see. Uh. Oh, come on. You uh. can reach. <laughs> Andrews Jeez. is so much better. <laughs> okay, and we put it. How long does this take? Oh, God. Boom. About two seconds. Kablow! Did you see? Look. Three emeralds just be created. Uh. 
fresh. This bee is dripping with honey. <laughs> it smells like. Mmm. Smells like bee ass. It smells like bee ass <laughs> and success. Oh, baby. <laughs> Dude, we're taking steps in the right directions. You know how long it took Yogg's cast to make one Jaffa cake in the Jaffa factory? No, how, forever. They haven't even made one. 80 episodes, haven't even made one. Dude, we're on like 20 something. We made it. Yeah. Huh. This is this is what people tell me. I don't know. Maybe they have made one. I'm not. Don't judge me. Don't don't judge me. Mm -hmm. But we are we are in the right steps and direction. Well, You're ahead of me. Yeah, I was just gonna say. Where's your? Uh, is it down here? All your matter fabricator things? No. Are they down here? No. Oh, you haven't created a good enough power source yet. Oh, I have. I need fifty-eight thousand EU per tick. What? Right now. What? Yes. All right. I guess I need to make more boilers then. You need to make tw at least 10 more if, if you want me to be happy. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? You know, no, because you haven't gone full scale production yet either. So, no, this is, you know, prototype. I, right. And I'm thinking too far down the road. I should just think make make one for God's sakes. Let's let's put our teeth on it. See if it's real. Can you make then, one? Can you? I'm, I can't yet. Hey, I'm damn. A, I'm issuing the challenge. I've made three. You get a nice pair of clothes, all of a sudden you're cocky as son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's right. Well, good day to you, sir. Oh, well, good day, <laughs> you damn fool. <laughs> get out of my basement. <laughs> <laughs> all right, brother. That is it yep. for my episode. I don't yeah, know about you. Too. Okay. We'll see you kiddos next time. See you guys.